Good morning, everybody. I've been getting a lot of questions about how this mini split has been performing in the winter, and it has been performing well. So uh, I typically am keeping the garage at 66 degrees Fahrenheit, and last night I turned off this mini split so that we could do a cold start this morning. It was 14 degrees early this morning, that's Fahrenheit. And right now it's about 20 degrees Fahrenheit. It will warm up today because it's nice and sunny. But let's go inside now and turn this on from a cold start. We are back inside the garage and I apologize for the fan noise, but I turned off everything, but the mini split circuit breaker is on. There's the mini split up there, and I really need to put a cover on that old air conditioner. That's a big hole through the, through the wall right now. So let's turn this on. And 66 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's gonna take a minute to kick up to speed, but let's go check how many amps it's gonna draw. All right, there's the amps and it's slowly ramping up on us. One of the nice parts about the inverter drive mini splits is that they ramp up really slow, so there's no real surge on the system. Still going up. Let's go outside and see how it sounds. Well, I can hear that the fan is on high speed, uh, but it still sounds fine. And this is the model that I have. We are up on the ladder now, and we can see the 66 degrees. That fan is definitely on high. Usually that fan is not that loud. Over here on the wall, we have 64 degrees or 18 Celsius. 50. So it's definitely blowing out hot air. All right, let's see what it's drawn. Well, oh, almost seven amps. That's really high. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen it that high, actually. Uh, the only thing that it's feeding right now is that mini split. Okay, it's coming back down. Well, that's really interesting. I've never seen it go up that high, almost hitting seven amps. Uh, but I've never tried to start it at 20 degrees Fahrenheit and the inside of that uh, outdoor compressor is probably 14 degrees Fahrenheit because that's what it was last night. Uh, so, <laughs> so it had a high spike and now it seems to be coming back down. I will catch back with you in a few hours when hopefully the unit has settled out. This is not when it's running its most efficient. Mini splits like to be kept at one temperature and just stay there all season long. This thermostat is out in the garage and it's currently 64 Fahrenheit. Usually I keep it at 66. Uh, yesterday I had the garage door open uh, for maybe 15 minutes as I was moving some stuff in and out and I think that's why it picked up a 61 degrees as the low in the last 24 hours. So that's the high and low in the last 24 hours. Uh, so it dropped to 64 overnight and now we should come back up to 66 and we'll see the amps on the mini split go down. So I just came over to check this again. We are 45 minutes later and it's 3.4 amps. So that spike we saw 6.8 or 6.9 amps, that was just for a very short period of time when we first started. Uh, so we're at 3.4 amps right now at 240 volts. All right, well, a little update. I have noticed that the amps have finally dropped. We were around three amps for a little bit and now it's finally dropped down. What that tells me is that we have finally reached the set point of 66 degrees Fahrenheit in the garage. So I added this meter and just zeroed it out. It's running off to 240 volts and we have a clamp, a CT clamp right here on the leg feeding into the panel. The only thing running on the panel is the mini split right now. And I just zeroed out the watt hours. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back tomorrow at 10.30 in the morning uh, so that we'll get 24 hours of runtime and see how many watt hours it uses 
and right now uh, it's gonna hit the low 30s today and then it'll drop back down overnight but I'll let everybody know what the nighttime low is uh, tonight in this 24-hour range but right now it's 10 30 a.m. well good morning everybody as you can see it's a winter wonderland out here we got a lot of snow I'm not gonna make much solar production today but we're testing that mini split now overnight it dropped to a low of 26 degrees Fahrenheit uh, right now it's 27 degrees Fahrenheit and yesterday hit a high of 35 degrees Fahrenheit all right so let's go and see how many kilowatt hours the mini split consumed well here we are 24 hours later and we use 6.26 kilowatt hours there we go that's the conclusion hey let's go outside and check how it's doing well here it is outside and it looks like it has stopped uh, turning the blades so we're probably at temperature or perhaps it's in some kind of defrost mode. Let's check the back. So there we go, everybody. A little over six kilowatt hours to maintain 66 degrees Fahrenheit inside my garage. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, comment, share. We're about 10 minutes later, and I noticed that the uh, inside started blowing out hot air again. So I came outside, and the fan is spinning once more. And we can see the outside coil let me change this for a sec here. there we go there's the outside coil 